All right, uh, fellas, uh, as most of you have seen, uh, there's a lot of videos going around right now about the Dallas McCarver autopsy. Uh, this came back, he did not choke on food. He probably had a heart attack um, and was gasping for air and probably uh, got the food caught in his throat while he was doing so, um, or either that or that was all just false information. Uh, it doesn't really matter at this point. What killed Dallas McCarver was a heart issue. And uh, he had a large uh, heart. It was twice as large as a normal human being, from what I understand. Twice as large at the age of 26. Uh, that's that's pretty crazy. You know, the left side of your heart, I, I guess, enlarges um, uh, when you're doing uh, steroids, uh, growth hormone, etc. I guess that is the issue. Um, he had a family history of cardiovascular disease, including high blood pressure and uh, clogging of the arteries. Now, of course, he was found back in August. It's been August already um, since he died. Uh, or excuse me, it's been that long already. And, and uh, you know, it, it, it's amazing how long it takes for these autopsies to, you know, with today's technology to, to come out. But I suppose they need to be thorough and cover all their bases. But, uh, and they performed the autopsy the next day. Now, the autopsy came out with some interesting uh, findings and large liver kidneys lungs i had thyroid cancer uh, the beginning stages of thyroid cancer so everything in this guy was enlarged probably and people are going to say due to hgh and steroid uh, use and abuse um chronic cough shortness of breath and he had asthma since childhood uh, so he really wasn't too concerned about his health i suppose at that age you know you're 26 you feel invincible been there done that uh his test levels were through the absolute fucking roof 55 times the normal rate high rate or high level of a normal man so you can have a guy that has a normal say high level 900 uh, whatever his was 55 times so i don't know how many grams of tests probably it must have been running five six grams of tests uh Per week, I don't know. That's just a guess. Somebody can help me with that. But uh, and of course, they found the almighty trend, which is considered by many, and, and rightfully so, as the most powerful drug, uh, anabolic steroid, along with uh, uh, mint. Um, so uh, trust alone. But uh, you know, trenbolone will also you know have an effect on your HDL and LDL levels, uh, making them not favorable. So that did not help his condition. Uh, with his genetics uh, in terms of again it boils down to you know, bodybuilding is about genetics I've made a video about this it's a lot of times uh, your genetics in response to what you need to do and uh, obviously his body could not handle what he was doing killer genetics for, for muscle growth and, and size but not in terms of handling what it took or takes to be a professional bodybuilder unfortunately because certainly he is not alone in, in, in that massive amount of testosterone uh, that he was taking uh interesting enough though as well there were no additional steroids found in his in his body uh although he testifies for caffeine and, and weed which you know we all take caffeine and tons of people smoke weed and no rec recreational drugs so that's that's pretty good to hear at least didn't he wasn't full of coke or, or opiates whatever uh, so that's pretty good uh of course he had a prior history of hgh and, and insulin use i don't know if they test it'd be hard to believe he wasn't on hgh at the time of his death uh so i don't know maybe they don't test for that um or maybe they just don't need to or want to or it's too expensive probably is what it is so he's probably running some hgh as well now the full report is online you can get a hold of this anywhere you you know it's all over right now uh, including youtube so uh, but yeah uh so so like i said interestingly enough you know he didn't test positive for any of these these other uh steroids and i'm not even sure you know there's probably something he was using that, that they didn't test for I, I don't know it's probably not cheap to, to run these tests but again dallas mccarver 20 26 years old uh that's just that's just sad man I, it's just too bad that his family you know has to deal with this uh, heavy lungs uh, man I, I don't know you know what that necessarily means 
obviously it just probably means they just inflated hyperinflation and mucus plugging um pretty pretty crazy and then interesting you know that that thyroid issue uh so that that would have been a major major problem down the road for him so uh he was a ticking time bomb so to speak even if he would have lived uh to see you know his, his later years um would have had some issues uh but again it, from from what i understand you know i mean he, he was well liked by people and people had a lot of nice things to say about him never heard a whole lot of bad things about him on the interwebs or youtube so uh dallas mccarver yeah uh, another bodybuilding tragedy another another guy uh, who go down in the annals uh, of bodybuilding as, as dying young and you gotta wonder is it really worth it